welcome to another edition of the CX Chat Show. Today we have uh, Yasmina Fahmi, Group General Manager for Marketing and Digital Transformation from Contact Financial Holding. Yasmina Fahmi is a diversified entrepreneur with passion in technology and new ways of working. She is the Group General Manager for Marketing and Digital Transformation at Contact Financial Holding. Yasmina has over 14 years of experience in diversified across different multinationals. She held many global business strategic roles covering digital transformation, innovation, sales development, marketing, and business development. Yasmina, it's an absolute pleasure to have you today amongst us for the latest edition of the CX Chat Show. Welcome. Thank you, Mohammed. It's my pleasure. Fantastic. Uh, Yasmina, before we dive into the, um, you know, the conversation or the CX chat show, is there anything that you would like to touch upon, which I missed in your introduction that you would want to share with our audience? Well, first, I would like to welcome the audience and uh, thanks for watching this uh, video. And uh, let's go um, into more details about uh, who is Yasmina on a personal basis. I'm 36 years old. I have a lovely daughter called Isabella. She's eight years old. And um, I'm uh, fond of uh, traveling, uh, trying new stuff. I'm a very risk taker, very residence oriented. I get bored very easily, so I don't do routine in my life, nor in my per professional life. You know, I have to try new things. I'm full of surprises. <laughs> so uh, it's, uh, it's, yeah, just uh, a unique uh, package <laughs> that, uh, you know, it's very interesting, I guess. <laughs> so that's it. Okay. Uh, really, thank you for sharing the other side of Yasmina, which not many of us would have known, but then I uh, really appreciate yeah. that. Thank you so much for that, Yasmina. Okay. Uh, yeah, Yasmina, you have been, uh, you know, the architect of uh, Contact Financial Holdings digital transformation journey. So according to you, what is the value that digital transformation brings to any organization and to it, its customers, uh, Yasmina? Wow, it's a very interesting question. Uh, thanks for asking. Well, the value of digital transformation, to me, digital transformation is core, is a key the success of any organization. You know, it's, it's like the, the air the organization breathes. So it's mainly about customers. So digital, or, uh, digital transformation is a customer-centered approach that facilitates the services of any organization and uh, make the life of our customer easier. So when we talk, especially the post-pandemic have changed the way we all think and the way we all adapt to change. So digital transformation was one of the main uh, key areas that uh, all organizations across the world have started to adopt um, uh, during this pandemic. And uh, to do business and to facilitate the life of the customer, especially knowing no one can travel, no more face-to-face -face meetings, etc. this was the only way to do it. So my answer would be it's crucial, it's a key to any success, and it's the air that any organization breathes. So I guess without it, no organization will, will even be able to do business in the next three years. Awesome. I think that's a, quite a lot of uh, insightful um, you know, converse, uh, details that you have given. You know, it says it's the core of uh, uh, customers and it is the core of any uh, uh, businesses. Now, uh, ha having said that, you know, what was the journey uh, that Contact Financial Holding uh, took to enable digital transformation? Wow, a long one, Mohammed, <laughs> a long one. <laughs> so yeah, it's very interesting to me and very close to my heart. So it's the first time I, I share it uh, with the audience. So uh, Contact Financial Holding started uh, 21 years ago. It's a big corporate. And it, right now, the holding uh, has over 25 subsidiaries covering both B2B and B2C sector and covering as well financial services, insurance, and uh, investment. So three main pillars, providing services to retail and corporates. Before the time of digital transformation, they had none. So they were using, you know, the, the old fashioned business way that any organization were using back then, you know, direct networking, direct sales, face-to-face -face meetings, creating an opportunity, expanding in the market. 
and which they did very successful. But after the pandemic, uh, they started to, to think differently. And they started to, um, to think that, oh, we need to have a marketing and digital transformation department dedicated for our growth and dedicated to serve the customer the way they would like to be served, which was a surprise to the organization because the way that the customers would like to be served has been changed before and after the pandemic. And that was, you know, the key of their decision. They were really smart back then. They were the first in Egypt to adopt the new way of working and methodology and, uh, and start to put in place a strategy for digital transformation. So when I joined the, the holding and the group, I started by putting a strategy based on the customer needs, based on the changes that happened, including change management strategy, including adoption strategy, including business consulting strategy. How would we do that? Train the employees and train the customers on the change. And how would they accept that? Uh, so we started by the, the strategy. It was very, very sealed. And the key to the strategy was adopting the latest technologies in digital transformation worldwide. From my own experience, I have been working in multinational over 14 years. So I took the American, I took the French latest technologies, combined them together, and then tailored them to be fitting the Egyptian market. And that's the tricky situation that is not off the shelves. You have to know on ground how things work and how can you make use of the latest technology, nevertheless adopt and change it to the way your customers understand and want. And then after that, we started to take it one step at a time. We, re we revamped the website. It was the old one-way static website and we revamped it to be customer-centric. We changed the way we sell our products to be customer-centric. We even included the communication pillar on top, which is a key to any successful platform. It's the heart of the digital transformation. So we included the, where the, the chat box. We included that in a bilingual way. And we changed the way uh, that the product are based to the needs of the customer. So instead of saying, oh, we sell financial services and insurance, we say, we sell your needs covering your family, home, summer, uh, fashion, you know, and anything you need in between. And that's the changing uh, factor that the holding of the group took to be able to adopt the digital transformation. Then after that, we went and went extra mile. We developed our own WhatsApp business chatbot, link it with the AI and machine learning, have it very uh, smart so that uh, any customer can just text us and rule-based scenarios, a very huge tree, you have no idea, linking the B2B and B2C companies, the 25 companies in the same chatbot. And again, it's bilingual. And we even link it to our database and we link it to the sales and we can generate it using the Power BI technology with ROI monitored automatically live from my mobile. So we went there as well. We didn't stand there. We went another extra mile. We developed an e-commerce mobile app, again, linked with the data mining, machine learning and AI linked with our database, which is very smart to identify the customer without even asking him if he is our customer or a new prospect. We already link that and we talk to the customer and display a different view according to the customer status. So the app can change itself. And then uh, the customer can see all our products and services, can even apply for a new product, and once he is a customer, the view changes. He will be able to see his own installments, his own credit limit. And then, not only that, we embark the loyalty program with him. So we reward the customer. So when he purchases any product, once he did that, and once he paid the first installment, he will be rewarded by credit points. These points can be redeemed via voucher, via coupons, or even via discount in the next installment using the mobile app. And he can even pay his installment, redeem his prizes from the mobile app. Not only that, we include the GPS integration with all our branches across Egypt and a chatbot 
which developed to the WhatsApp business chatbot, embarked on the website and the mobile app. All that is 360. So if you log into the WhatsApp, if you log into the social media, if you log into the website, if you log into the mobile app, you will be redirected to all other channels so that you don't have to mess, uh, you know, to, to search and, oh, where can I find them? No, we're in everywhere. <laughs> so that's the idea. We're everywhere. So if the customer is lying on the couch watching a TV series or in the company or on the road traveling, he can open in any channel and he can do whatever he would like without even talking to the call center or coming and visiting us in the branch. So that's what we have done. Fantastic. Absolutely mind blowing. In all of this journey, what you have shared with me, I think the beauty and the success is, uh, is because in all of these conversations, the customer is in the middle of everything. All your exactly. strategies, all your strategies, all the approaches, you know, you, you have talked about being customer centric, you've talked about uh, tailoring based upon the customer needs, whether they are existing yeah. or they are a new customer. So in all these, the customer is right in the middle and you have framed your strategies around your customer. I think that's what makes it successful. Correct me if I'm wrong on this, uh, Yasmina. Of course, that's the key. You know, if we focused about the organization itself, we'll lose it all because the customer is our audience. The customer is why we're working. We're working to serve the customers. So the idea of the vision and mission of the company shouldn't be about the products or about the sales or about the expansion. It should be about the target audience, which is the customer. So it has to be the other way around. Thinking about digital transformation without putting the customer in the middle and applying the digital communication methodologies, it will definitely be doomed to failure. So again, we were smart enough to do that and we were successful in doing that. And we even developing more and more technologies, which will be surprising the market very soon. I look forward for those surprises. <laughs> <laughs> Inshallah, next time when I visit Cairo, I'm sure yeah. I would get to have a hands-on feel of that. So I, I look forward yeah. for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome. Now, uh, being the champion of uh, digital transformation, uh, Yasmina, what will be the key pillars that organizations should have in their plans uh, in order to have a seamless, successful uh, digital transformation uh, you know, a strategy or a campaign? So what would be those key pillars uh, that you would suggest or you would recommend to organizations? Yeah. Well, actually, one main key pillar, which is very crucial, what I call the triangle of business. So in any organization, before adopting any digital transformation strategy, they have to think how to link between the employees of the organization on the top of the triangle, and then the customer, which is the key pillar that we talked about, and then the services that they sell to be customer centric, and in the core of the triangle, the communication. So if you imagine the way the infrastructure is just a triangle, employees, customer service, and in the core communication. If you think this way before adopting any strategy, definitely it will be a success. If you miss one pillar of these four, definitely it will be a failure. So that's the thing that I, I have to say to any organization to adopt and think about while driving the strategy of digital transformation. And that's the main and most crucial key pillar to any success. I think you, you, you made it very simple. Uh, you know, for all those people who are, uh, you know, looking at digital transformation as a rocket science, which is absolutely yeah. impossible to nail it. It is not. You, it, you made it so not. simple. You made it so yeah. easy and, <laughs> and pre precise. Th thank you for that. Really appreciate that. <laughs> Now, last but not least, you know, how has this transformation really uh, helped in improving the bottom line? For me, when we say bottom line, it's not sales, it's not business, or it's not uh, the revenue, yeah. but I'm talking about the impact on customer experience. That's what I say as bottom line. So how has it impacted uh, for 
you and, and uh, for your organization? You know, I'll tell you what, I'll share some uh, insights, which again, I never shared before, exclusive for you, uh, you. is that, <laughs> well, practically speaking, you know, coming to my office, receiving a call from, uh, from a customer saying, oh, what you've done is amazing. We will be waiting for the WhatsApp business chatbot for over 20 years. Now I cannot wait in a queue. It made my life easier. You know, I can order the product and I have sales call me without even coming to the office. That's amazing. You finally understood the customer. You know, talk like that when you receive it coming from the customer itself, not from an employee, it made a real difference. You know, not only the WhatsApp, uh, we received the same feedback from the customer in our surveys, from the mobile app and from the website, you know, and even from the social media, linking everything together, omni-channel base, you know, so the customer don't have to do the extra mile and search for us on a specific product. This is an, a true application of making the customer easier. So you change the experience from having the customer to do the effort to us doing the effort on his behalf and giving him the cake and cherry on top, you know, to, the, to his couch, you know, on the sofa while watching TV. So that's the tricky situation that, you know, the result in the end when it's coming from the customer before and after not not coming from you guys so that's the tricky situation that's again many life examples that we receive from our customers acknowledging the change so that's that's the idea <laughs> i i think <laughs> customers are the most difficult people to uh, yes. you know make them happy but it is just a, one one instance that you touch their emotions and, and their you know the, the sweet spots and then they yes. become your loyal and they are going to be your biggest spokespersons and the biggest brand loyal person. You don't have exactly. to spend million dollars on a marketing campaign. Your customers will do that for you without a penny spent. If you're able to give that, bring that smile on their face through your exactly. services and through your experiences. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, I acknowledge that 100%. That's the key. Fantastic. So in that note, I would like to end this uh, uh, episode of the CX Chat Show. It was absolute pleasure to have you on board today, in, virtually, you. but I'm sure we are going to be meeting uh, in a forthcoming, uh, you know, uh, episodes, yeah. virtual, wherever it is. So pleasure yeah. having you today, uh, Yasmina. Thank you for the time. My pleasure. And uh, inshallah, you. I look forward to having you in another conversation. Inshallah, it would be my pleasure. Thank you so much. And thanks to the lovely audience. I enjoyed this session very much. And I hope you did as well. Thank you, Yasmina. And uh, have a lovely day. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye.